I wanted to move into and mention that I was curious about the whole earth chakra. So I don't know if that's something we can discuss really briefly. Yeah. I think this is good because sometimes you do need structure in our podcast, but sometimes the viewers just want to listen to information, but like in a conversation type of manner. Because I feel like we're teaching right. them about financial literacy <laughs> astrology yeah no like, we are we are everywhere. like it makes it more authentic it makes it more real if somebody right. aspires to do their own podcast like they see the the process of fucking collaborating with somebody else <laughs> and like all and the I shit love, that can go right and wrong i love that you said that because sometimes like like to see the messiness of something the chaos i like learn from that yeah you know like seeing other people remember what i said earlier their process Remember what, what I said about earlier the about organized the- chaos? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, I'm that kind of person where it's like, I like to see the messiness. That way I can, like, yeah. see how they got better and, like, exactly. well, you know, maybe I have my own suggestions or whatever. Just for the listeners to know this, though, Von Dechi has a video about the different kinds of brujas. Yes. We definitely want to get into that way more in a different episode, but go check out her page. Um, you have it on both of your pages, right? At Von Dechi and at Von Dechi's Vault, right? Mm-hmm. And if they want more information, they can go to my website, vondechi.com. All my videos are there, all my my blogs, all the things that I sell, all my witchy products and my inexpensive household goods, including um, there's actually a forum on my website too. So if you are a business, if you own a business or run a business or you have a line of products and services that you're providing for others, you can definitely advertise on my forum for free and subscribe to become a member for free. So, Boom, on her website, check her out on her instagram handles as well um on the bruja podcasts ig page there is a link tree link um where um her instagram handles are also linked as well there so i want you guys to go check out that video for those of you that are curious about the different kinds of brujas but we're definitely going to get into that more in a different episode Mm -hmm. and i'm also going to bookmark that we definitely do want to talk about the earth chakras because i'm super curious about that but I want to get into the full moon in Pisces because okay. that's what's coming up. I work a lot with candles. Yeah, I- I've been doing that a lot more. So my ritual um, for the full moon in Pisces, it's happening on the 2nd, right, Von Dutchie? Are you able to confirm yes. that? Just because Septem- I did not put that on my calendar. I have August in it, front of me. It's um, September 1st. Is it on the 2nd? It, it's September 1st, September 2nd. September 1st, September 2nd. So for some of you that are like new to astrology or, or not um, super advanced, sometimes the day changes a little bit, mm-hmm. but that is mainly due to where you are located in the world. Mm-hmm. The full moon in September, Ooh. it's, the, it's harvest the harvest moon. moon. Mm-hmm. And the moon will rise at sunset and peak at midnight. And it's going to it's gonna set at sunrise all over the world, no matter your time zone. But this is the only full moon, the full moon in September, the harvest moon. I didn't know that. And, you know, Mm -hmm. I remember, like, earlier on, like, in January, I think it was when the wolf moon was happening. And, like, I I didn't know the names of the moons. I'm assuming it's called the harvest moon because it's in September and that's when the harvest happens. Yep. On point. Okay. Okay. So, because it's in Pisces and it's in the the last zodiac sign, this is my take on it. A lot of times when I'm looking at the new moon, full moon, I kind of go based off intuition when I'm doing my rituals. Mm. So for me, because it's the last sign, it's almost like I'm definitely going to be taking stock of what I have done over the last year. Yeah. Like since last September uh, up to now and kind of like anything that isn't anything that's sort of like dead weight, just putting it to rest, just burying it getting rid of it even though i know the full moon is more about culmination and um uh what's the word i don't want to say manifestation but it's kind of like the culmination of everything you've been working on um the way that i feel is just i don't know i'm i'm inclined to kind of look at like what what's ending what's ending and what's new that's coming in that i want um so i plan to be burning a blue candle for pisces um yeah, yeah. That, that's my plan. And also, you know, if this beach thing goes well today, then I, I'm definitely planning on doing a pre-ritual of, of kind of soaking 
in you know if ocean you, water if, if you can take like a little sample of sand or if you could take a sample of water like a little vial and just like bring it home and like maybe because i feel like if you utilize elements in your rituals especially organic elements like organic sand from the beach or organic water from the ocean be very careful because there's a lot of microbes and bacteria because you know like there's fishes that kill each other and like pee and bleed in the uh. ocean however if you need like you know if you boil it or something like that and like don't drink it of course but like if you use it in your ritual i would say maybe it'll amplify it i've never used you know like any type of um atlantic ocean water or <laughs> you know any of the oceans uh the water of the oceans or any sands however i do feel like using organic components in one's ritual will probably augment the the properties of what you're using like if you use water it'll probably augment those magical properties of that water or if you're using sand it'll probably augment the properties of sand and, and also if you are going to use sand i would suggest mixing it with salt as well but you know mm, okay. there's there's different i would say google it because i'm not really you know like 100 percent into using organic materials but i do know that if you do boil it, it it kills the bacteria and again it amplifies and augments your intention so you know you actually inspired me to um because I, I i always redo my altar Mm. Um, oftentimes because my altar is so public in the sense that, you know, I, whenever I do like a selfie or something, uh, usually my altar is always seen or whenever people visit me just cause I, I have a rooming situation. So, mm -hmm. you know, I live with roommates and stuff. So, um, I'm often changing my altar just because I'm aware that sometimes people don't have the best intentions when they yes, see your be altar. Very careful. Be very careful. Yeah. I feel like you should have two. You should have two. One. See, to show ideally, I, I want that. But the way that my space works right now isn't How about you get a box? conducive to that. How about you get a box? And I was thinking about doing this too. Getting a box. It doesn't have to be a shoe box, but a box would be ideal. Because once you open it, you can have things dangling from the top of the box. And set the box up. Like, like layer it with a nice um, tissue paper and like... You know what I'm saying? Like, you can make an altar, a Ooh. hidden one just for yourself. But maybe you should look at different hat boxes or, like, shoe boxes or, like... It doesn't even have to be... It could be a small box or a big box. You know what I'm saying? I and never then as soon thought as you of that. It, I never thought of that. And that's your... That is so interesting. That's your secret because one. Like, or for your yeah, moon because, sign like, and then your sun the, sign you can share with everybody. The way that I would often... Um, like a lot of times I would, you know, clean my altar very regularly yeah. and I would often bless it with yeah. like protection. Yeah. That way if it's ever seen, um, and you know, it's blessed and, and protected, at least for now, uh -huh. it's, you know, a temporary situation. Um, but what I was going to say was you inspired me to actually, so I didn't realize uh -huh. this, but when I was cleaning out my mom's apartment, she had a lot of things that had to do with the ocean. She literally had a, a glass bowl of shells. <gasps> Save um, it. Yeah, and I, I'm planning to use that. She had a glass bowl of shells. She also had a a glass bottle that had sand. It, it, I actually oh. have it with me. Um, sand. It has little shells in it. So what I was actually thinking of, if I go to the beach today, um, I'm probably gonna go look for like a, a shell that, of course, mm -hmm. isn't being used by a living being mm -hmm. um, that's abandoned, and I'm probably gonna just have that yeah. as like my my little token for my altar specifically for yeah. you know the full moon and these rituals so you inspire that and that's what i'm gonna go do i'm Thank gonna go do you. i'm gonna go get a, a shell but get what, her shells what, and what are you it. planning to do I, you don't have to necessarily like say anything that's intimate but like no, yeah. you know you have a like, ritual or anything that you you know you tend to do specifically yeah. for this full moon um i would definitely say pisces are very emotional so I feel like journal writing, not even journal writing, like, oh, I'm writing my feelings. No, like writing dreams down. <laughs> because like, I feel like when, when water, when the moon is in any kind of water sign, especially because my moon is a Scorpio, I'm a water sign, you know, with my emotions and like my inner thoughts and things like that. I feel mm -hmm. like I dream a lot. And when I dream a lot, usually it's either a nightmare <laughs> when I say nightmare, I mean like, oh, I'm drowning or oh, but I'm a great swimmer. I freaking, I, I'm a great diver. I'm not afraid of the water, but you know, like some, 
some of my dreams, I guess, surround water. Mm -hmm. And I might think, oh my God, I'm drowning, it's a nightmare. But actually, if I look at all the elements in my dream and I cross-reference it with my dream book, um, it's actually mm -hmm. a good thing. It's actually good omens. So I would say definitely look into your dreams and try to write down anything that you can remember from the previous night if you dreamt the previous night and if you don't remember anything from your dreams write down the first thing that comes to mind when you wake up and then once that once that the moon is out of that that water sign look back and reflect look back and and try to see if you're still thinking about those thoughts or dreaming about those dreams and then if you're not maybe you resolve what you need to resolve your emotional uh, issue or trauma for the time being but I, I would say definitely look into your dreams look like start um your dream journal start writing things down start going to to buy books that are about dreams like dream references i feel like we are always in a constant state of dreaming even when our eyes are open we're awake our brain is still dreaming and it's just dreaming in a reality that all human beings are in agreement with but when we close our eyes and, and dream as like sleep dream like realm sleep that's where our imagination just you know goes out so it's like our realities are different and you know people say it's not real but i say if you're in a dream and you know you feel something you you feel like your body reacting to it like for example you may twitch in real life or you may you know your eyes may be rolling in the back of your head. like i believe that again we're always in constant state of dreaming and definitely delve into that because there is such thing as psychotherapy, which is basically when you talk to people about what's happening. But I feel like we don't talk about what's happening when we're unconscious. Not unconscious, in, in our subconscious. So definitely jot everything down in regards to sleep. And then also if you see things that, not like ghosts or anything like that, but like if you see like little orbs floating around, what color are the orbs? If you see anything that's like... Oh, like, oh, maybe I just saw something. Maybe it's in my imagination, but you saw something, write it down. Because right now, it's, mm -hmm. I feel like things are, are beginning to open themselves to us. You know? Like, from the spiritual realm, from... Yeah. Yeah. So just write it down yeah, and write things I down. Do yeah, I'm literally also thinking a lot are you know, any person, anyone that has their moon in Pisces. Yeah. About them. Um, yeah, I mean, anybody with a, a moon and a water sign, but especially those with moon in Pisces, um, to adhere to that. Definitely get a dream journal. For me, it's oftentimes hard when I dream. There's sometimes when I dream, like when I wake up, I forget it or it comes to me in pieces. Mm -hmm. And there are other times where I know I'm doing astral work because I wake up and I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I slept eight hours, I slept 10 hours. Why am I tired? Right. It's because I was doing work in the astral realm. Um, yeah. But that that's good. I'm, I'm also going to do that too. Uh, start journaling more in my dreams. I've been working actually more on like um, using my tarot cards to help me out with dreams. Um, yes. so I'll tell you a little bit about it later, but there's been some dreams I've been having that I can't quite share publicly. Um, but I'm gonna talk to you about yes. it once we're done with this episode because it's it's a lot. But um, you know that's all that we have for today. Yeah, we wanted to talk about Uranus and retrograde, which we went on. I don't know how many tangents we went on, but they were important tangents. We went on they had to be different curious. miscellaneous <laughs> tangents, but hey, that's moon in Pisces. Yeah. So yeah, for the full moon in Pisces coming up on the second, as Wanda she and I have mentioned, um, on our next episode, we definitely want to tackle the different kinds of Buruhas as well as um, the chakras of the earth um, yes. that Wanda she mentioned in the previous episode. But for now, guys check out her website check out her instagram handles for that video specifically because for those of you that are curious about what kind of buruha you might be or the different kind of buruhas that there are she breaks it down what do you, you have like 12 or 13 examples yeah how many 13 Thir 13 examples guys 13 examples so go check that out and definitely um stay tuned for the next episode of the buruha podcast 
and that's all we have for now. We will talk to you later, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. For listening.